Hello, this is Jacob from AutoCAN team. Today I will show you how to properly synchronize the Volvo SID803A controller. Let's start with the reason why the controller loses synchronization. Most often, the cause is a weak battery, then when you try to start the IMO light comes on and the car won't start. To synchronize we need EEPROM from the right CEM processor, in this case it is a Motorola IM84E, ABS ID number from the ABS pump, to read it we must use the diagnostic interface, e.g. launch, EEPROM memory from the SID803A engine controller. Let's prepare the workplace. Today we will use I.O. Terminal HW14 with Siemens card. Standard ECU cable. Adapter for testing the ECU in bench mode. USB cable to connect to a computer. ELDB XPROG M box. An adapter called ADP0017. A cable enabling connection to the sub laboratory power supply. And let's not forget about software to work. First, we read the SID803A controller. We will connect in bench mode, i.e. via pins. We will use the HW14 I.O. terminal for this purpose and connect the ECU cable and USB cable to it. Connect the ECU test adapter to the ECU cable. It's time to visit the manufacturer's website www.ioterminal.com. Remember this data because it will be useful when downloading. We select the basic software, enter our login details and start downloading. Now we select diagrams and find the appropriate diagram. Based on it, we connect to the controller. After making sure it is well connected, turn on the power. Let's get back to the software, unpack them, then click on the installer and the program will run. Select Volvo Siemens SID803A ECU tool, click Enter Supervisor Mode, then read EEPROM 95320. Go to the Memory Dump tab and save. We can read Flash Memory. It worked. We go to the Memory Dump tab again and save. Exit supervisor mode and turn off the power. Let's see in the file comparator where data such as IMO data and ABS ID are located. IMO data. ABS ID, checksum. Remember to always recalculate the checksum. If you are unable to calculate the checksum, please send the file or driver to us. We provide this type of service every day. In the next part we move on to reading EEPROM from the right CEM processor. We use ELDB XPROG M box. Using a screwdriver, unscrew the screws, then gently pry them up and get to the board. Now Forsha 580 comes into play, we spray it on the surface of the board to wipe off the varnish and allow it to bond. Let's wait a while for the agent to take effect. We clear the surface and what we were looking for appears. After opening the CM module, we see that the module contains two identical processors with a mask of 1L15Y. We are interested in the right one, secure. Go to www.eldb.eu. On the left there is a tab called, Connection Diagrams. Press and select, Volvo CEM, from the available options. The connection diagram is available on the website. Signed Volvo V52008 CEM 9S12 XDT256 1L15Y X2. You need to solder it according to the instructions on the side of the service connector enabling connection to this processor. We will show you where to find the software. On the manufacturer's website, go to the Downloads tab, then XPRG box and XPRG software. Unpack the downloaded software and click Install. In the message, select Run Anyway and wait for the installation. The process is quick. We always run the software as an administrator. After starting, press Update. We go to Device Select. 
Select, then, Freescale slash NXP 9S 12XD and MC 9S 12XD 256 EEPROM secured, and now, OK. We select, new, then, read. Confirm the certificates, then press, read, again and the process starts. We save the file. We return to, device select, this time to, MC9S12XD256, flash, secured, and, OK. We repeat the reading and saving procedure. We read flash for security reasons, to have a backup of the entire CPU. Now let's see the files in the editor. In our case, the IMO date is on line 130. Depending on the module, you can always find it in line 130 or 530 of EEPROM SEM. XPROG reads these processors best. VVDI and JTAG SMOK read a different area of the processor where IMO data is not included. Let's go back to the I.O. terminal to save our EEPROM in the controller. The operation starts similarly by selecting our Volvo Siemens SID803A ECU and selecting Enter Supervisor Mode. Now let's flash EEPROM 95320, confirm that you want to perform this operation when the file is saved exit supervisor mode. This is how the Volvo SID803A controller is synchronized. Thank you for watching. Let me know if the video was helpful. Write in a comment if you have ever had an experience with a desynchronized ECU. See you in the next material, hello.